Hi dear children, welcome to today's class. Today we are going to discuss three dimensional geometry, the 11th chapter of 12th standard. Just look at this figure. Consider OX or Y at OZ. Consider three dimensional plane. Okay, this OY is our positive Y axis. And OIZ that is our positive Z axis. And this OX that is our positive X axis. O represents origin in three dimensional plane. Now just draw one line PQ which passes through origin. Draw one line in three dimensional plane which passes through origin. Alpha, that is the angle which makes this PQ with the positive x-axis and beta is the angle with positive y-axis and gamma is the angle with positive z-axis. Then this alpha, beta, gamma called direction angles. Cos alpha, cos beta, cos gamma. That is called direction cosines. Okay. Alpha, beta, gamma be the angles with positive x axis, positive y axis and positive z axis. Then that alpha, beta, gamma is called direction angles. And cos alpha, cos beta, cos gamma that is called direction cosines. And this cos alpha is denoted by L, cos beta is denoted by M, cos gamma is denoted by N, small letters. The relation between this direction cosines, that is L square plus M square plus N square is equal to 1. L square plus M square plus N square is equal to 1. That is the relation between direction cosines. Suppose, Direction ratios are given. A, B, C. That is our direction ratios. And we need to find L, M, N. Direction cosines. Direction ratios are given. And we need to find direction cosines. Then the relation between direction ratios and direction cosines. L is equal to plus or minus A divided by square root of A square plus B square plus C square. M is equal to plus or minus B divided by square root of A square plus B square plus C square. And N is equal to plus or minus C divided by square root of A square plus B square plus C square. This formulas we can use to find the direction cosines if the direction ratios are given. Okay. Now, suppose two points. Let P of x1, y1, z1. Since it is in three dimensional plane, we will have three coordinates. P of x1, y1, z1. And Q of x2, y2, z2. Consider two points. Okay. And L, M, N be the direction cosines of the line PQ. L, M, N be the direction cosines of the line PQ. Okay. Then the direction cosines, this L, M, N. Okay. L, if the direction ratios are given, then L is equal to plus or minus A divided by square root of. Plus or minus A divided by square root of A square plus B square plus C square, right? Now, this A is equal to actually X2 minus X1 and B is equal to Y2 minus Y1 and C is equal to Z2 minus Z1. A is equal to x2 minus x1, b is equal to y2 minus y1, c equal to z2 minus z1. That means if the coordinates of the points are given, then the direction ratios of the line PQ. If 
the coordinates of the points are given then the direction ratio direction ratio of the line pq a is equal to x2 minus x1 b is equal to y2 minus y1 c equal to z2 minus z is a 2 minus is a 1. Now, if you want to find out the direction cosines, direction cosines, this formula already we know L is equal to plus or minus A divided by square root of A square plus B square plus C square and M is equal to plus or minus B divided by square root of A square plus B square plus C square and N is equal to plus or minus C divided by square root of A square plus B square plus C square. This formula already we know. Okay, in this formula, just put the value of A, B, C. Okay, just put the value of A, B, C. Then you will get L, M, N. Okay, that is L is equal to plus or minus a x2 minus x1 right x2 minus x1 divided by square root of x2 minus x1 all square plus y2 minus y1 all square plus z2 minus z1 all square x2 minus x1 divided by square root of x2 minus x1 all square plus y2 minus y1 all square plus z2 minus z1 all square okay then this is our l if the coordinates of the points are given now m instead of this a we will have b in the case of m instead of this a we will have b so just replace this x2 minus x1 by what is our b y2 minus y1 so this is our formula to find out the m if the coordinates of the points are given and n we have c and what is our c is z2 minus is z1 so just replace this y2 minus y1 by is z2 minus is z1 this will gives a n Okay, so if the coordinates of the points are given, then the direction ratios of the line PQ, A is equal to X2 minus X1, B is equal to Y2 minus Y1, C equal to Z2 minus Z1. Okay, and the direction cosines, we have this formula, plus or minus, if you have L, then the numerator is A, and if you have M, the numerator is B, and n the numerator is c and the denominator is same for all that three okay denominator is square root of a square plus b square plus c square and just replace that a b c by those values you will get the equation to find out the direction cosines if the coordinates are given and what is the speciality of this denominator the denominator is actually the distance between two points okay that is our distance formula in three-dimensional geometry okay denominator is actually distance between p and q distance formula in three-dimensional geometry